Real quick before I start the video, to celebrate the launch of Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon, I am giving away a Nintendo Switch. This specific Nintendo Switch that is in my hands, I'm giving it away. I can sign the box if you want, whatever. But in order to sign up and enter to win it, all you have to do is click the link down in the description below. Click there, do as many things, options there as you want, and while you're at it, you might as well leave a like on the video and don't forget to comment down below as well. Alright guys, let's move into the video and don't forget to enter to win. Greetings, Pokey fans! Michael here, and I am thrilled to welcome you to episode one of my Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play. My first time playing through these brand new Pokemon games. I'm super excited. I've been looking forward to these for a long time, and I'm really excited to share this journey through Alola with you guys. Uh, I did receive both this copy of Ultra Sun and the copy of Ultra Moon that Jubilee is playing through off camera for free from Nintendo. I do have to say that in every episode, so uh, <laughs> prepare your ear holes for a lot more of that phrase. But anyways, with that, I'm going to tap the little icon here on the bottom screen, and we're going to get started. Here we go, guys. It's time to go beyond Plus Ultra! That's it. My Hero Academia, if you haven't watched it, Consider doing so. All right, we're gonna play the game in English because I, that's what I speak. Um, and we're gonna begin the game. All right, let's do it. Oh, Pikachu, surf away. Bye bye. I'm going to miss you. My settings have been saved. Excellent. I'm a message from the Alola region's own Professor Kukui, or as A Drive likes to say, Kukui, which I always thought was funny. All right, here we go. Hang on now, give me. Just a sec, my webcam has somehow gotten tilted. Uh, what up, man? Hi, good afternoon. It is the afternoon, I am playing this at 12.08 p.m., so it's afternoon by eight minutes. So the day has finally come that you're moving to Alola. Alola is a region made up of several islands. Okay, so far this is almost the same. That could be the reason the region is chock full of nothing but rare Pokemon. Yeah, yeah. There's no shortage of cool Pokemon here in Alola either. Is it gonna be the Rock Ruff or the Pick a Pack like it was last time? Or is he gonna switch it up? Still a Rock Ruff. You find them all over. Grass, caves, sky, sea. Here in Alola, we love our Pokemon. Oh, a Cutie Fly. Okay, that's different. And we depend on them heaps too. That's a weird way to say that, man. I'm not sure I approve of that. That phrasing. Some of us even battle with them if we call ourselves Pokemon Trainer. Oh, well, fortunately, I happen to do so. So, Rock Ruff, Cutie Fly, I'll play with you later, so cool your jets! Rock Ruff has jets? Is that what the Dawn form is? If there's a Dawn form, it has jets? Alright, I gotta ask you some questions about yourself so I can introduce you to everybody. So which photo should I use for your trainer passport? Ah, yes, these are all photos of me and I just have to choose my favorite. Alright, we'll go with this one. This is the one that is most similar to me in real life. Uh, alright then, I'll spell... I'll let you spell your name for me. Alright, we're gonna go with Michael, as I tend to do. Because that is my name. My name is not Manned, like many people seem to think it is. Because it is MNJTV, by the way, MNJTV merch store. Perfect Christmas gift for your sibling, friend, parent, dog. Uh, link down in the description below if you wanna check that out. But yes, my name is Michael. And that is what I look like. 10-4, good buddy. I'll let everyone out here know you're on your way. Hydrate or die. Oh, there's the pick a pack. Okay, the pick a pack's still there. Yeah, that's the name that hits you like a trop kick right to the head. Oh my god, I don't want my name to do that. That sounds horrible. Can't wait. Can't wait to see you in person then, cousin. Alright, bye, Felicia. Now I pull away from my computer screen. Michael! Come help me with these boxes! <laughs> that sucks. The, uh... <laughs> moving is annoying. Moving is annoying if any of you have done it. We did it recently into the, the new house. Oh, here's the scene! Here's the scene with Lily! She doesn't start with her ponytail outfit, for which for a little while I thought she might. But I suppose not. Oh, Ether guys! So, so far this is identical. Um, oh, the Ultra Recon Squad! They're the ones trying to stop her! Are they working with, are they members of Ether? Well, this will be interesting to see. 
Never! Nebby saves the day again. Ultra Sun. It's time to go beyond. Plus Ultra! Don't forget to text or smash that like button. Alright, that's enough of my hero academia. <laughs> Great show though, for real. Hit it up. Map looks mostly the same. Oh wait, oh, the bay. The bay had way more um like a massive landmass in the middle of it. The Kala E Bay, it didn't have that before. So that's interesting. There's a Meowth running around. Is that our Meowth? Because we have a regular Meowth, not an Alolan Meowth. All right, our mom is the same. Okay, there's our regular Meowth. Okay, it's someone else's. I can't you just feel that warmth the first day spent under a low lost sun. It's so warm and bright here. That's enough of that. Time to unpack all these boxes. Meowth, go get Michael for me, would you? Meow! I heard you was looking for a cat? <laughs> Pokemon talk reference. John A.K. Pokemon, best Meowth voice actor out there. What is my rug? Oh, my rug is a Poliwhirl. That's pretty cool. Big Snorlax doll. Did we have that before? Did it have a tail? Oh, a Switch! Oh, look at that! Oh, that's a nice touch. We have a Switch in our room now. That's cool. Pikachu doll. What's Meowth gonna do? It's gonna tackle me again, right? Ma! Oh, the speech box is different, so that's cool. Oh, a pincer on my sheets! <laughs> Bug type in the streets, pincer in the sheets. The new coat rack your mom bought for you! And apparently I don't have the ability to pick up my hat and backpack, so that's dumb. That's the adventure guide, that's just gonna... Game console you can even take outside and play! Advertising. What is that thing? Oh, that's a toy for Meowth. Okay, I was like, why does Snorlax have a tail? Can I enter my closet? No, I cannot. Alright, let's head out. My shorts look like swim trunks, <laughs> which I think is funny. Swim trunks with, like, really long compression shorts under them. You were out like a light, weren't you? You ought to be full of energy by now. I mean, I'm probably still groggy. I slept past noon. Just look, it's already daytime here. It's completely the opposite of Kanto. But then we are so far away here in Alola. So they're on opposite sides of the globe. That's interesting. I don't know if they... Maybe they said that in the old one, I just forgot. You excited to meet some Alolan Pokemon? Of course! I am excited to meet some Alolan Pekahurs. That's right, I want to hurry up and meet some too! We're living in the Alola region now, the beautiful islands everyone wants to visit. I'm sure the Pokemon living in a place like this must be friendly, right? You know what I'm wondering? Why did we move here? You know, like, I believe the only other region where you start the game moving to that new region is Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, I believe it says you moved from Johto, but you moved because um, your dad got the your dad got the job at the Petalburg Gym, which I always thought it was weird that like, you know, he works two cities over. I feel like why didn't you buy a house in Petalburg? But whatever. Um, but obviously your your father is not in the picture in this game, like most games. Ruby and Sapphire is the only one where your father is in the picture. Um, so I think it's, I'm like wondering what, what, why did we move here? <laughs> Maybe the village we were in before started to view us in a negative light. And so the only thing we could do to escape the vile actions of our village mates was to move to an entirely new country. Hmm. Look at those sun rays. Those, those look nice. Okay, I wanted to go upstairs real quick because there was something... Oh, what is this? It's the autograph you got from a gym leader in Kanto. They wrote good luck. Oh, who's, whose autograph is that? That's cool. I wonder which one it is. Okay, let's go into Mom's room. Check it out. Just see if it's different. It does a... I sh honestly, I don't remember at all what her room looked like before. <laughs> but she's got a bigger bed than me, that ain't right. Well, I guess it is, I am a child. 
All right. Outside. Here we are in the Alola region. Lots more flowers in front of our house. I do like that. Our house looks huge. Uh, I don't think it's gonna let me go this way because I don't have a Pokemon. And yeah, there's a kid in his rock rock. Watch it, cuz! It's dangerous to get too close to a Pokemon while it's using one of its moves. Yeah, okay, that's how they prevent me from going that way. So, uh... I'm assuming we just need to go toward, um... Oh, they just closed a gate. <laughs> Logical. Um, and that's there. All right. Well, let's go this way. Beautiful flowers. Oh, Wingull. Oh, what's over here? Oh, that's just a ledge I can hop down from later. Okay. I love all the flowers. I don't think these were here last time. Something that coming at you from the tall grass. Yeah! <laughs> My saviors! It's like, go, go, Pokemon Rangers! <laughs> da -na 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 -na. It's like they're, they're just, they're the, they're the save, <laughs> they're the, the squad. <laughs> they're like, go away! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That was, that was funny. I guess now I just, like, I don't know where these came from, I don't know who they belong to, but I just select one that gets to be mine. Hey there, cousin! Hang on, I know you, you're Michael, right? You okay? I saw you get attacked like that. I mean, it walked up to me and, uh, I was scared spitless. Ha ha ha! Oh, we're saying that. You and me both, cousin! Ah, oh, thanks for the, the empathy, man. I'm looking after these Pokemon, but they dashed right out on their own to save you. I guess I'm getting ahead of myself. Welcome to Alola, the Pokemon Paradise. That's what I'm supposed to be saying. I'm Kukui, yeah? The Pokemon Professor. People in Pokemon live and work together here in Alola, too. Don't you ever forget. Excuse me. You can go anywhere, yeah? As long as you got Pokemon in your corner. Well, I can go anywhere as long as there's not random roadblocks. Wild Pokemon could be lurking in the tall grass, so yeah, just waiting to leap out and bite you, but you'll be fine if you got a partner of your own. Let me introduce the Pokemon that helped you just now. This is the grass-type Pokemon, Rowlet. Ooh! Ooh! And the fire-type Pokemon, Litten. This is the water-type Pokemon, Poplio. A boat work! You see, the fact of the matter is, one of these Pokemon will become your first partner. Ooh! <gasps> Maybe that's why they wanted to save you. Go on and choose the one you'd like to keep as your partner, cousin. Alright, well, uh, there's still a really long cutscene prior to choosing, so I feel sorry for the people who planned a soft reset for this. Um, so... The starter that I'm going to choose, I've thought about this for quite some time, like in the months leading to this. I'm going to be choosing Litten. Reason being, I chose Rowlet and Sun, so I don't want to use Rowlet again, I want to change it up. Um, and in my Pokemon Moon Wonderlock, I had a Primarina on my team for a large portion of the playthrough, and a Decidueye as well, so more reason not to choose Rowlet. But I used uh, Poplio for a large portion of that. Um, May they rest in peace. So, Litten is really the only one I've barely used. I've, like, never used an Incineroar, so that's why I'm gonna use Litten. Not my favorite, but I wanna change it up! And, I saw a Pokemon I Choose You movie recently. May use Fire-type moves, but it's one cool cat! Glorious puns, Kukui. Um... Let's do it. But yeah, I, uh... The Incineroar in the Pokemon I Choose You movie was an antagonist, but it was so cool. <laughs> like, it beating the crap of Char out of Charmeleon was epic. <laughs> Alright, well, we're staring at Litten for a while. 
You know, I'm actually allergic to cats, so thankfully this is a virtual cat that we are using. Uh, we will give Litten a nickname. Oh, I should have thought about this ahead of time. Uh... All right, let's think. It becomes a wrestler tiger. I've got it. I've got it. So, in case you didn't know, one of my favorite actors is Dwayne The Rock Johnson, who got his start as a WWE wrestler and still does stuff like that periodically. I don't watch WWE, I just know that. And while Litten, Tora, Cat, and Incineroar are not rock types, uh, Incineroar is a wrestler, and uh, this is a great opportunity for lots of can you smell what the rock is cooking uh, references in this entire Let's Play, so <laughs> prepare your ear holes for that. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> it's great because it's fire type, you know, so it's, it's it, like literally cooks things. <laughs> so here we have the rock. My Litten. Time to meet the Island Kahuna! <laughs> but why? <laughs> Truth is, that partner Linda yours is a gift from the Kahuna, not me. But let's go show it off and say a proper thank you, cousin. May not be the only gift you get. In case you hadn't heard, the Kahunas are all crazy strong Pokemon trainers. Yeah, hala has got, what, like what, like level 16 Pokemon? Be careful about getting into a battle with one. <clears throat> let's go. Let's progress. Iki Town is right up here. No, it looks a lot more open. Route 1 seems like the layout's been changed a little bit. Get lit in there in that Pokeball I gave you. What if it wants to walk alongside me? I don't see a problem with that. What if it's like Pikachu? Alright, well, uh, let's go! Our first wild encounter. Ooh, the rainbow stuff looks really cool. Flowers everywhere. It's a young goose, but I really like the bright colored grass. That looks really nice. Route 1 is looks fantastic. Okay, um, I guess we'll beat this this thing just for the sake of a little bit of experience points. It's not a shiny young goose, so I'm not going to catch it, but... <laughs> uh, TBT, guys. Throwback to second episode of my son Let's Play where I found a shiny young goose. That was incredible. Wish it would have been a shiny char- or a shiny grubbin, but still incredible. Wonder if we'll find a random shiny in this playthrough at some point. That'd be pretty awesome. Okay, there's Rock Smash. Yeah, they've definitely they've definitely changed this somewhat. Okay, they're preventing me from going back on Route 1. Probably because they want me to spend 25 years learning how to catch a Pokemon. Alright. We got Pose- Oops, I did not mean to step in the grass. It's fine. We should see what's here if they've changed it at all. So far, so young geese. <laughs> They're everywhere. And burn! This should get us to... Well, it's level 2 instead of 3, so maybe it won't, but I'd like to get us to level 6. I'm probably battling how next town. I mean, they he does have the weaker starter. Unless they changed it. They might have changed it to make him pick the, the type advantage starter, but we'll see. I do, like, kind of want to spend a solid chunk of time, like, just encountering Pokemon in the grass because, like, I know the dex is different and I want to know what's here. <laughs> hey, hey, which Pokemon are you going to choose as your partner? Have you decided? Uh, my Litten is here. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm Hal. Couldn't wait for us to pick our partners together, so I came to find you myself. Rawr! Whoa, your Litten is so cool. Hey, wait, you already picked your Pokemon? Sorry about that, Hal. Uh, we had a little accident on the way here, so I ended up letting Michael choose his partner first without you. <coughs> Sucker? <laughs> Fair enough. I guess it was just fate for you guys to meet. You're a good sport, Hal. I would have been really annoyed by that. But you can choose one of these two, Hal. We get to watch his, his choice. We didn't get to do that last time. My partner will be Rowlet. I choose you. woo Alola, friend! I decided age ago that you're the one I wanted to have an adventure with. How convenient that I didn't pick it. We're gonna do so much awesome stuff together, just you wait and see. Oh, it's so cute! 
Professor, you'll take good care of Poplio, right? You better believe I will, how? You can give it to Lily. Lily needs needs something. Alright then, Poplio. Everybody, time to get back in your balls for now. Let's get back in our balls. Wait up, me and Rowlet have a favor to ask. Be our opponents in our first ever battle together. Yeah! Hold on, before you tap to the ring, let's make sure Litten, Little Litten, Little Litten, Little Litten little, little, little is up to it. Thanks for healing. Glad I didn't worry about the, uh, <laughs> taking a bit of damage. All right, I'm seriously going to enjoy this. Let's go. Friendly battle with how. All right, so that's the same. The battle interface is different, though. I like the, the bottom screen. It, like, looks more, like, futuristic. Go! The Rock! Yeah, I like the battle interface a lot. It looks so good. <laughs> Pokemon games used to be harder than this. <laughs> Alright. One more Ember and the battle's over! I love the spikes that comes out of Litten's bag. That's awesome. Rowlet kind of deflates a little bit when it faints. That's interesting. The rock grew to level six. Oh, I wonder what its nature is. I hope its nature doesn't suck. <laughs> the rock grew to level seven. I feel like there's a... I'm like worried that its nature is going to suck. <laughs> well, that was awesome, Michael. You and Lou were both so cool. You gotta have the kind of battles where everyone has fun. You and your partner Pokemon too, you know? Right on, Michael. You and Al both brought out the best in your partners and pulled off some spectacular moves. Yeah, yeah. Iggy Town is right up those stairs. Come on, Michael. You should totally check out Iggy Town. Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Just, whoa! Oh my god, this looks very different. But I like it. It's so bright colored. That's awesome. All right, let's look at you. Okay, so that's a fine nature. It lowers its speed, but like, what do you call it? Uh, Incineroar's not that fast anyway, so it doesn't really matter. All right, well, let's run through this grass because this is the, the shiny young goose grass. Oh, Baneary. All right, cool. We'll KO this thing, cause I'm not gonna use a Lopany, but. Wait, I don't have Pokeballs yet. Huh. Never mind. <laughs> we need to get out of the grass right now in case I find a shiny, cause then I won't be able to catch it. <laughs> leaf, leaf, I'll get the item later. There is a bug. I killed him! Ha! Bug type is weak to fighting type, apparently, according to real life. Yeah, I don't have Pokeballs. Let's uh, let's not risk finding a shiny. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Like, I don't want to risk finding a shiny. <laughs> it's like a statement you don't hear that often. Inky Town looks mostly the same. Pretty sure. And we're here! This right here is Icky Town. How beautiful. There's the stage and the door to the spicy activities toward Tapu Koko. This town is where folks come to worship the Pokemon that watches over Melee Melee Island. Tapu Koko keeps us all safe and happy, see? We worship the creature that I can put into a metal ball. Looks like the Cahoon is nowhere to be found, though. Guess there must be some trouble somewhere on the island that needs fixing, yeah? Yeah, the Kahuna wandered off without a word to anybody, seen a little ditty or something. I'm gonna go stop by home for a sec. I'm gonna show my mom my Rowlet! Cool. Hey, I've got an idea for you, Michael. If you head through the village and up the hill, you can visit the ruins that belong to Tafu Koko. It's our gr island's guardian deity. Why don't you go and introduce yourself? If you were lucky, maybe we'll actually get a glimpse of the guardian deity yourself. Uh, bold predictions. I'm gonna get... Substantially more than a glimpse. But let's check out Howe's house. Oh wait, I can't. The door's blocked. That's fine. I think that's where Howe lives. I think he lives with his grandpa. 
Mahalo Trail. Hello, lady. Going to pay your respects to the guardian deity? It's a fickle one, but I hope you meet it. Oh, sh part of it in shadows. That's pretty cool. Hmm? <gasps> Lily! I know, I know. I'll take you to the ruins, so please stay in the bag. We can get in trouble if anyone sees you. Nebby! Get in the bag! Alright, we're here. This is probably gonna be very similar. Water looks different. Looks like they upped the graphics on that somewhat. Nebby no! What are you doing? Nebby no! No, Nebby, not. Oh god! Spearow! Nebby, just teleport yourself out of there like you did out of ether. Come on. You strange little future Sogalio. What's over here? Oh, just more land. That wasn't where I was standing. Terrible graphics. Ah, uh, what's wrong? Help! Save Nebby! Spear are attacking it, but I'm not a trainer. I I can't. You just punch him in the face. That's how you beat Spearo. I hear Pokemon. So oh, oh wait, I have a Pokemon at this point. I just realized I didn't have my Pokemon when I did this the first time. We're battling this time. Okay, that is different. Wild Spearo appeared. We will defeat you. Oh, I didn't know that that archway was there. That looks pretty cool. Is that new or is that just something I never noticed before because it was like above the camera? I've been leered. My defense is lower. No bueno. Alright, we beat Spiro. Am I gonna... Am I gonna battle three of these things, or...? You managed to chase off one of the spear, but... Oh, there are still more! Okay, it looks like we are gonna do all three of them. One of them came back? What? <laughs> Okay, so it seems they're like, okay, we're gonna fight one of them, but I'm not gonna use my Linton to stop the rest of them because this makes total sense. Oh God! What up? <laughs> I got you, man. Backflip, Tapu Coco. Nebby, you're so cool. Someday I hope I have a mohawk. Bye, Felicia. Nice work. Appreciate the save. Ooh! Thank goodness you tried using your power again, didn't you? Oh, Nebby! You know what happened last time you used it? You couldn't move for ages after that. I don't want to see you like that again. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm sorry, Nebby. I know you're trying to save me that time. I couldn't even help you in turn. What? What is that? <gasps> Spicy Z ring. Let's do this. I guess the sparkling sun feels warm somehow. Please forgive me. I'm so grateful to you for helping us out of that dangerous spot. Uh, who are you? I'm I'm Lily, and I suppose this stone must belong to you. Nebby found it, but I guess you can have it because, you know, you almost died. I feel like that's adequate compensation. Please, don't tell anyone about this. It's it's a secret, okay? Come on, into the bag, Nebby! So, so far, it's very similar. I feel like we're going to see things get more dissimilar the further into the game we get. Um, I'm worried we might get attacked again by small Pokemon or, or something. I know it's... Too much for me to ask it, but do you think you could see us back to town? 
I mean, if you, your boyfriend's not coming with you, sure. <laughs> I ship it. The player and, and Lily. That is. Or do I ship her and Hal? Because Hal's the one who, like, bawled like a baby when she left at the end of Sun and Moon, so. Oh, Michael! You already met Lily, huh? <laughs> She's my assistant. Yeah. Thought you were with the Kahuna. Kahuna Hala? He said he had something to attend to, so he left town on his own. I was just uh, taking a little stroll up Mahala Trail when I waited, and a while I waited for him to return, and that's how you met our new neighbor, Michael. Ah, that's, uh, that's so cool, bro. <laughs> Help him find his way around, yeah? Oh, so you're also one of the professor's acquaintances. Yeah, we met like five minutes ago. It's nice to meet you. Kahuna's back. He has returned. Everybody celebrate. <laughs> there. Like, guys, chill. He was on a walk for 15 minutes. He doesn't need some sort of ceremony. <laughs> Holla at you, girl! Have I missed something? There you are, Kunala. What seems to be the trouble? Aha, uh -huh, just got cut up in the middle of some brawling rock rough. That's all. Sorry, Lily, uh, what were you saying before? For some reason, I thought I saw Tapu Coco flying about. Oh, um, yes, Kahuna Hala, Nebi got attacked by some Spiro on the plank bridge, and Michael here helped protect it. But the bridge collapsed, and I thought both of them might fall to the bottom of the ravine, and that was when the island's guardian deity swooped in to save them. Whoa! Well, that's something you don't hear every day! Oh, although it is said to protect us, our Tapu Koko is a rather fickle creature, yet our guardian was moved to save you. Kukui, my boy! I think we have cards to celebrate! Looks like we have a brave and kind new Pokemon trainer in our midst. Let's have a festival! <laughs> Glad to meet you, child. I am Hala, the Kahuna of Mele Mele Island. Welcome to Alola. Young Kukui had told me of your coming. I'm glad we got the chance to meet today. Pew! Oh, what did you get out again? It's been out this entire time. <laughs> I know that Kahuna Hala and the professor will keep you safe from any harm, but you should still stay in the bag and out of sight. It's safer that way. Nebby, well, it seems to have taken a liking to you. I, I have read the Pokemon like it when you pet them or take care of them, you know? Alright, here's a lovely gift for me to help make today special, Michael! What is this? Oh, it's Ronom Dex! We don't have to, Looks like we don't have to go to his lab to get it. Pokedex is a real high-tech kind of tool, yeah? That can automatically f record facts about any Pokemon you meet. Your new partner, Linton, is already registered. Oh, yeah! So check it out. Trainer password that I had put together for you. Svet. Well, you gotta meet the Kahuna, at least. Right ahead, home now, Michael! Alright, guys. Well, this seems like a good point to end the episode. A little bit over 30 minutes. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching this very first episode of Pokemon Ultra Sun Let's Play walkthrough here on MNJ TV Pokebits. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like. Don't forget to answer the comment question down below. And that is all I have for now. So until next time, big fans. Gotta catch them all!